Video guys, we're going to be breaking down the matchup last night between the Raptors and Cavs, where the Raptors are able to pull even in the race for the sixth seed in the Eastern Conference. You guys with a huge 117 to 104 victory over the Cavaliers. Raptors improved their record to 41 and 32 on the season, tying up with the exact same records as the Cavs right now. They're also sitting at a 41 and 32 record on their season after last night's loss. Um, big time win for the Raptors squad. You guys, obviously, it's our first victory against the Cavs this season. Um, this was our third game. I believe we played against them in our final one. Uh, they beat us the two games prior to this, so this was a big-time one to get under our belt here. Um, obviously, like I said, it ties us up for the sixth seed. I'm um, trying to stay out of that play-in spot as well in the Eastern Conference here. Um, obviously, Chicago's kind of fallen apart lately as well. I think they're only one game ahead of uh, Cleveland and the Raptors as well right now, so there's a chance if the Cavs and the Raps continue to play good basketball down the stretch here, and uh, the Chicago Bulls continue to fall apart. They could end up being in that play-in spot as well with the Cavs and the Raps up in the fifth and the sixth seed. Um, so it's going to be an interesting last couple of weeks, you guys. We've got nine games left to go here. Um, you know, nice 117-104 victory last night on our home court. Get to two games above 500. I think we're 18 and 16 now on our home court. Um, you know, that's definitely something we want to see those numbers improve on, especially I think we only have one or two uh, away games left down the stretch here. Um, so you're definitely going to want to get some, get some good... Uh, home wins um you know these last few games of the season here kind of get into a nice rhythm on our home court especially with playoffs coming if we do have to play with that seven seed you know you're gonna have a home playoff game i guess we'll call the play in tournament we'll call it a playoff game um that'll be on our home court if we do hold on to that seven seed um so you want to be ready to rock on your home court so it's nice to get the victory last night when we have been struggling like i said uh, right real quick before we start breaking down the stat lines here you guys if you go ahead and like this video if you like sporting content like this go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you're looking for more sporting content like this in the near future i've been getting a lot of support on the channel lately you guys and i greatly appreciate it we're going to keep coming out with as much content as possible for you guys but without further ado man let's go ahead and start off with the team stats in this one you guys Raptors shot a nice 47% from the field in last night's game, 42 of 89 as a collective unit. Uh, also dropped 43% uh, from three-point range, 16 of 37 as a team. Um, so that's always great numbers when you can have your field goal and your three-point percentage, um, both in the 40s. Um, so credit to the Raptors. Their shooting stroke was dropping nicely last night. They also shot 89% as a team from the line, um, 17 and 19 from the free throw line. So that was good. Good job by them as well, making sure we were making those free throws count in this game. Um, out-rebounded the Cavs 40-36 to 36 on the glass. Also out-rebounded them on the offensive glass 13-9. to 9. Um, They turned the ball over more than us as well with 13 turnovers. Raptors uh, kept it under that 10 mark, only turned it over 8 times last night. Um, so a great job um, in that aspect as well. Um, and we got, got a good, did a good job uh, getting out in that fast break as well. We had 18 fast break points. As a squad, they only had four fast break points, so that was a great job by the Raptors as well, getting out in transition and taking advantage, getting some of those easy baskets. Um, you know, the bench stepped up big time for the Raptors in this one as well, you guys. We outscored the Cavs bench 43-37. to A lot of that's off on the shoulders of Boucher. He stepped up majorly, had a great game. Armani Brooks played pretty well in the minutes that he did get. Um, who else was there on the bench there? Thad Young had a great performance as well last night. He stepped it up for us. Um, so overall, you know, it was nice to see the bench unit step up. Obviously, it was clutch having them outperform the Cavs bench in this one. Um, Pascal with another gem of performance, 30-plus point night for him. OG looked real nice in his first game back since the finger injury there. Um, you could just tell how much better our defense is with having him uh, plugged into that rotation as well as a three-point stroke. He's got a good three-point shooting stroke. Um, was knocking down a few of those in this game as well. So it's nice to have OG back on the floor. I just think he's going to continue to get better as the as the games go along here. I think he's going to be a, a major factor in the playoffs for us, you guys. I mean, just you could see how much different this team looked with him out on the floor last night. Uh, he's going to be a very big difference maker for us in the playoffs, in my opinion, especially if he's 100% ready to rock. Um, you know, he should still be in great uh, condition considering it was only a finger injury so he can still you know continue to do cardio and work out and things of that nature um, when he was sitting out for those last couple of weeks so he looks like he's in great game shape he looks like he's ready to rock excited to have him back in the lineup man um, you know and it's just getting that, that much closer uh, you know to having our full squad out there obviously Gary Trent Jr. and uh, Malachi Flynn did not go in this game uh, Fred Van Vliet looked a little bit off in this one as well. Like I said, that shooting stroke of his just isn't dropping at a high clip. I was glad he brought those shooting numbers down 
in this game. He didn't just brick up a bunch of shots like he did a couple nights ago. Um, so it was nice to see that. He tried focusing more on being a facilitator, which is exactly what we need him to do when his shot's not falling. Um, so credit to, Fre to Freddie in that aspect. Uh, we'll go through some of the player stats as well here, you guys, before we round this one out here. Uh, Ken Birch. Uh, finished the night off with four points, two boards, and one assist. He only shot two or three from the field. Only played 13 minutes in last night's matchup, so not too crazy in the minute department there. Uh, Fred Van Vliet finished off the night with 10 points, five boards, eight eight assists, uh, one steal, and two blocks. Uh, shot four or nine from the field. Um, so like I said, wasn't a high score at night for the guy, but did great with eight assists for us. You know, pitched in nicely on the defensive side as well with two blocks and a steal. Um, you know, and like I said, I was really happy with the shot totals. He only took the... Took nine shots in this game, made four or nine, so just below 50%. He wasn't bricking up a bunch of random three balls in this game, which was nice to see. He was focusing more on being a facilitator, um, which, like I said, is exactly what we need to see him do, and especially with that bum knee that he's trying to play on right now. He's just not going to have his legs under him, um, you know, to be getting up high-quality shots at a consistent clip. Um, so, you know, good to see he was facilitating last night. Pascal with a massive game, you guys. 35 points, five boards, and six assists. Uh, nice, efficient 12 of 20 from the field as well. Just doing a little bit of everything in this one. That corner three was dropping at a high clip for him in last night's game. Um, pretty much unstoppable around the rim as well. Pascal is just a force to be reckoned with these last couple of months, you guys. Um, you know, he's a little shaky to start the season after coming off of that shoulder surgery. Um, but man, has he turned it on pretty much since after uh, Christmas there. This guy has just been absolutely outstanding in 2022 so far. Um, you know, and he's going to be a big time contributor down the stretch if we're going to want to make a push through the playoffs here. So big time credit to Pascal. One of the big reasons we were able to pull away and get this win last night uh, with his 35 point performance there. OG, like I said, had a good game as well. You guys, 14 points, two boards, three assists and one block uh, shot four eleven from the field. It's nice to see him back out on the floor, man, man. Does he make an impact on the defensive side of the ball? Um, and just his confidence on the offensive end as well. Just adding another guy who can go get you a basket when you need it. Obviously, OG's known to be a clutch shooter as well. Um, obviously, most notably making that three-pointer in the bubble um, to seal the deal versus the, the Boston Celtics. I believe that was in game five or game six there to push it to a game six or seven it was. Um, so, you know, he's got that clutch genome. You know, he can make some, some three-point shots, knock them down at a high clip. Um, you know, so it's just nice to see him back out on the floor, being able to space out that floor a little bit as well as, uh, you know, step up our defense. Obviously, he's one of the better defenders in the league. Um, so to have him back on your squad is huge. Nice to see him out there. Scotty Barnes, a bit of a quiet night, but still performed pretty well. Uh, had 11.6 rebounds, four assists, two steals, and one block. Shot four and nine from the field. So once again, not a crazy shooting night, just below 50%. Um, just steady as always out there. You know, he's got a good feel for the game, understanding when he should kind of press it a little bit and take charge, or when he can kind of sit back and allow... You know, some other guys who are hot at the moment, guys like Pascal, um, you know, to kind of take over the game. So, you know, credit to Barnes. They're still doing what he do, doing what he does, um, you know, and the two steals and a block is huge defensively. The dude always shows up on the defensive end uh, of the floor, which is always important, um, especially when you're not going to have those huge offensive nights. you got to be able to, you know, produce something out there when you're, uh, you know, given 30 plus minutes a night. Um, and Scotty Barnes does a good job of that, even when his shot isn't dropping out of high clip. He's always making sure he's producing in other areas. So credit to him in last night's game, you guys. Uh, Boucher off the bench was huge, man. 17 points and 8 rebounds. Um, also had 3 steals in this one, 6 of 12 from the field. Um, the dude's been on a tear the last few weeks here. Exactly what we wanted to see from him pretty much since the All-Star break. He's been on another level. Really stepped up his game. Has been that Energizer Bunny coming off the bench like we remember from last season. Um, and we're going to need him to continue this the rest of the way, man. Um, especially going into the playoffs, we're going to need some big time production coming off of the bench unit there. Um, and if Boucher can keep up the numbers here, we're going to be just fine. I think, um, he's been playing like, like I said, just outstanding lately. Um, you know, getting high production from him, good quality shot attempts as well. Um, just good heart and hustle on the defensive side of the floor. Um, so credit to him, Matt, hopefully you can keep the ball rolling in the right direction here, head towards the playoffs. Um, cause like I said, we're going to need guys like him, Achua. Um, and Thad Young to be stepping up big time in this playoff stretch here. Take a little bit of pressure off of our starting unit, you guys. Um, then Achua in this game, uh, 10 points, 4 boards, 1 assist. Uh, had a bit of a rough shooting night, shot 3 of 10 from the field. He had he had an Achua of old shooting night, we'll call it. I'm sure you guys remember at the beginning of the season, some of those uh, games that Achua played, just bricking shots up left, right, and center, making bad decisions with the basketball. And that kind of reminisced from last night, you guys. I felt like he had one of those kind of throwback games where he just wasn't himself. Um, at least for what we've used, used to be seeing lately, he's been on another level, like I said, just like Boucher has these last month or so since the All-Star break, um, you know, and he's kind of fallen back 
not not lately just in last night's game I thought he kind of fell back to some of his old ways you know and just you know not getting good legs under some of those shots making trying to play some hero ball too much making some bad passes um, but other than that man you know it's just one game I'm sure he's going to bounce back he's still a young gun um, and he's, you know, had a phenomenal last few weeks since that All-Star break. So I definitely think Achua is going to gonna be able to bounce back and have another big game coming up here against Indiana. Um, Armani Brooks, you guys, I really like what I've seen from him on his couple of 10-day contracts here. He shot two of six from the field last night. Two three-pointers made, six points total. Uh, three rebounds, one assist, two steals, and one block. Um, this dude is so tenacious defensively. I love to see the effort that he's given on the defensive end of the floor. Um, I'm sure that's why he's been getting some minutes out there as well. Uh, Nick Nurse probably sees the intensity he plays with on the defensive side of the ball. Um, and I really believe that's why he's been getting so many chances out there. Um, obviously, it helps when Malachi Flynn's been out of the lineup as well with that hamstring injury. He's given Amani Brooks uh, all the chances uh, required. Um, but he does have a nice shot from three-point land, man. The dude's not, not afraid. He's fearless from the three-point stroke. He can shoot it from deep. Um, you know, he's got a pretty nice shot, in my opinion. I, I would have no problem keeping this guy around as a rotation piece. Um, really impressed with his de defense as well. Uh, most notably was that block. I want to say the block was in the third quarter of last night's game, where he just absolutely swatted that fucking ball right back down to the floor. Um, I thought it was a fucking seven-footer back there swatting that ball the way he blocked that shot. I couldn't believe it, man. He just, the guy the guy going up for the dunker lay-in had no fucking chance of making that shot. Uh, Armani Brooks just come there and swats that bitch down near back down the court. Um, just an epic fucking block, to be honest with you. Like I said, I thought it was one of our 6'9 guys fucking swatting that thing. And then, and then they showed the replay and it is little 6'3 Armani Brooks just fucking swatting the shit out of that ball. Um, you know, so credit to him, man. I love that defensive effort. Um, if he keeps giving effort like that, he's going to continue to get minutes out there. Um, and I do like his three-point stroke, even though he hasn't been shooting at a super high clip. Um, he's starting to make some of those three-pointers, um, you know, and he does have a nice shot because even the shots that he's missing, they're not bricks. He's not laying bricks when he's when he's missing his three-pointers. They're just missing the net, like they're bouncing two, three times off the rim and out, or like they're very, very close to going in. Um, you know, so if he can get those dropping at a consistent clip, I think this guy can really be a nice little boost of energy coming off the bench in the playoffs for us. Um, then that leaves Thad Young, you guys. Eight points, four boards, two assists, and one steal for Thad Young in last night's matchup. Four or six from the field. Uh, I thought he played really well in the beginning of the game there. I think he had eight points in that first quarter or in that first second quarter, that first stretch of basketball he played in the first half. Um, you know, but just a good solid all-around veteran performance from the guy. Obviously, he's you know, got got some good poise out on the court there with his veteran presence. Um, you know, he's a good leader in the locker room as well for some of the younger guys. Um, so I really liked what I've seen from him since we brought him over in the trade deadline as well. Um, you know, so overall a good performance from the Raptors, you guys, 117 and 104 the final. We'll go through quickly the stats on the Cleveland Cavaliers side of things before we wrap up this video. Uh, did pretty good holding down Mobley here. He only had 11 points, 8 boards, uh, 1 assist and 3 blocks. Shot 5 of 7 from the field. Didn't really get going too much. Um, so good Good job on the Raptors part there, kind of not really allowing this guy to get hot, kind of holding him in check throughout the game. Um, Darius Garland had a pretty decent performance, double-double for him, 18 points and 10 assists. Um, you know, did a good job not allowing him to get a sh shooting stroke too good, though. He only shot 7 of 18 from the field, um, so even though he had pretty good produ production, um, you know, in the assist department, we didn't allow him to shoot a high clip. Um, from the field, which is a good job. Uh, Kevin Love had a decent performance, 12 points, 10 boards, 4 assists, and 2 steals. Shot 5 of 8 from the field. Uh, Markkanen's been a real nice addition for this squad. Uh, 20 points, 5 boards, 1 assist, and 1 steal. Um, he's just been a beast for them. Um, especially, he was probably one of the big difference makers. Him and Stevens. Stevens also had 16 points, 6 boards, 2 assists, and 1 steal. Those two guys ended up being the difference makers in this one to keep the game somewhat close, in my opinion. Um, Lavert as well had 11 points there. Osmond didn't do much for you off the bench. He only had four points, one, one rebound and one assist. That was the guy that I had in my pregame video. You guys kind of talked about. He usually lights up the Raptors when he plays us. Um, for some reason, he's, we always let him get going from the three point range. He usually ends up getting 15, 20 points a night on us. Um, so he was one of my key factors to the game. If we could have held him down, I thought the Raptors had a good chance to win. I thought if Seti Osmond ended up getting it cooking off the bench. Um, that the Cavs were going to have a good chance to win. And we, we did a good job holding him down. He only shot one of five from the field, so credit to the Raptors. Because um, like I said, he, he can get hot. He gets weird streaky uh, luck from that three-point line, man, where he can just start banging down those three balls, like even if they're contested, um, you know, tough shots. You know, if he starts hitting those, watch out, because all of a sudden he'll bang five or six three balls in in a row. Um, so like I said, it was a good job holding him down. Didn't really allow anyone on their squad to really get it cooking. Um, 
you know, and then on our side of things, like I said, Pascal with a great dominating performance once again. Um, dude's playing on another level right now, showing everyone why he should have been an all-star for sure this year. Um, got snubbed big time, but who cares about the all-star when you're going to be getting an all-NBA uh, nod, in my opinion. I think he'll be an all-NBA player this year. He definitely deserves it. Um, but yeah, guys, that pretty well rounds it up for this video. 117-104, to the final. Raptors get a huge victory. Tied up for that sixth seed right now. Big time game coming up against Indiana on Saturday. Must win. Uh, game in my opinion you guys especially against the lesser opponent here that has no chance at making the playoffs right now we need to take care of business early and often versus them because we got a massive matchup against boston after that um that's going to be a huge game so we need to take care of business versus indiana i believe cleveland's got chicago next so that that works to our advantage as well just because i believe chicago's a game ahead of us right now obviously we're tied with cleveland um so it's going to be huge because if we can win our game against indiana um, and then, you know, either the Cavs lose or the Bulls lose, you know, either way, that's benefiting the Raptors to try and get into the top six there. Um, so fingers crossed, man, we got to play a good game against Indiana and then we're going to have an absolute slugfest against Boston. So it should be a good couple ones coming up. You guys, I uh, would love your guys' opinion in the comment section down below. How do you think the Raptors fared in last night's matchup? And what do you think our chances are against, uh, Indiana and Boston in the next two uh, games here? You think we'll end up solidifying one of those top six seeds? Uh, like I said, love your guys' opinion in the comment section down below. And that pretty well wraps it up for this one, you guys. Please go ahead and like this video if you like sporting content like this. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you're looking for more sporting content like this in the near future. Thank you guys so much for watching, man. And this is Mizzy with it.